Hey guys, I'm not dead. I'm still here. And in today's video, I want to talk about a little side project that I went on, or in this case, it's going to be a side quest. Audio gear on the go. And specifically saving money and helping other people do something to save money and get something really cool out of it. And I wanted to really show off something different. My friend put me on to a listing of IEM which are in-ear monitors because I needed a pair of in-ear monitors for when I was out and about skateboarding and using my lapel mic because I wanted to balance my audio to wherever I was that way I didn't sound like awful. Uh, shout out to Tom Asta, his videos are great. He's using an awesome road lapel. So I really like his audio. I don't think it ever gets too annoying. I think it has just enough background noise to where, you know, they're not faking it by having like another camera set up that records the park the whole time. I don't know if you guys have ever heard that, but sometimes it's really weird to see them like do a trick and then the audio doesn't match it's, like distant. Uh, but when the lapels are set up right and their audio is balanced very well, you won't get the annoying hissing or the skate park or the background ambience or it won't pick up people around you talking. Um, it's all about really just getting the right balance down but i ended up getting these these are the uh kz so i don't know if that's the name of the brand but kz is what their branding seems to be and the reason why i chose this company is a it was well under a hundred dollars and b they have two really 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 cool traits that i think you're going to like because I really like it. So just to clarify, I use on a daily basis a pair of Hi-Fi Man 400 SEs, planar magnetic open backs. These are a balanced headphones going through a Fio Olympia, which is set to a bass amplifier mode because I like a little thump in my firing of guns and stuff in games and explosions. These are not meant to be a thumpy headphone or a bass heavy they're meant for audio tracking. They're meant for listening to audio and hearing a lot of that background noise. So I'm not the greatest with audio. I've always been 100% transparent with that, but I do have a fascination and a love and appreciation for audio craft and audio work, even though I don't fully understand. Just important, a dynamic driver is usually a membrane up front with a magnetic driver behind it that causes this kind of motion to create sound it does that on such a small frequency that it produces audio. A planar magnetic headphone, on the other hand, has a membrane with a ribbon of metal that goes through it, a membrane of plastic or something like it, that will vibrate in different locations to create tone. This can create a more dynamic tone and allow multiple tones to play through at the exact same time. So when it comes to audio engineering or things like that, not always, but I do seem to prefer these, especially in my personal experience. I do strongly believe that since I've gotten more into audio and understand it more, um, I'm able to then translate that to my production quality. I'm just going to show you guys specifically what I chose and why and what I'm saving up for and why. So I know it's not everybody's favorite website, but we're on uh, everybody's favorite website, Amazon. Bluetooth. So I have the first one that popped up. I just went with the ones that were readily available because they were 30 bucks. And I noticed that they didn't come with any headphones. So yeah, these do not come with headphones. That's rule one that I think is super fascinating about this product. These products, I should say, is they don't come with anything unless you buy it with them and they're amps so not only is there a battery inside of here but there's an amp but as you can see i do have a headphone on there and yeah so these are the iem drivers i believe that's what they refer to them as so these little things that you can buy are the headphones themselves they just have a little thing that sticks up you can get um the earplug style like i have uh right here i have my little bag that i carry with me 
Um, on there right now are a thin silicon pair that I like to ride uh, my motorcycle with. So as you can see, these are different than most headphones. They have a different design, a different style. And what's really cool about these headphones is they just fit so goddamn well. Like even without like the little sports thing, these fit so good. There's so many different kinds, which is the huge selling point to me. So when I bought mine, I bought the semi open backs um, with a regular dynamic driver. The entire thing only ended up costing me $37.99. And when I say these blew my mind because I was expecting scratchy audio. I was expecting an annoying hiss. I was expecting them to be kind of mediocre, all things considered. I had been using the Sony Link Buds for a long time, and I liked how they sat in my ear, kind of up here in this little knot. Let me go grab them. So these are the Sony Link Buds right here, and I paid good money for my Sony Link Buds, and I did get my multiple years out of them i won't lie so here it is in my hand there jobs but um the kz's although i can't wear them at work they are pretty stealthy i think if there were were more companies interested in supporting the idea of whatever this technology is where you could remove it by a different bud uh it, it, that would be huge something that was similar to the Sony Link Bud in this format. But anyways. And there's just such a rabbit hole here available for people to go down. And I just absolutely love it. They make dedicated gaming uh, ones that are $16.99. Like that is unreal. The quality is probably so good. And then if you're hopping into the car or something like that and you're an audiophile and you want to put in something like some linsoles or, you know, linsoles are going to be crazy expensive, as you can see, but yeah, absolutely awesome. But again, KZ, again, 7BA plus 1DD. Don't know what that means. 16U hybrid driver. Oh, wait a minute. Is this a planar magnetic plus? Oh, Maybe they're advertising it. Oh, uh, but one of the things that I found really, really cool is, and I don't see too many options of this. Uh, KZ has a planar magnetic semi open back option, which, if you don't know, Sennheiser 400 SEs are full open back planar magnetic. I can see through this, I can see the camera because it just has like a metal ribbon that goes woo and then it vibrates across the metal ribbon. So these are exactly what I was looking for and were like my big ticket seller. So when I bought this box, I had the plans on buying these, but I fell in love with the ones that came with it that I don't even need these. But I know it's so cool that at any point, you know, by saving money, by getting an external battery pack and external amplifier and buying that old secondary, the freedom to just pop off your dynamic driver and pop another one on like especially if they fall off your ear and get damaged but the battery's fine it's kind of a really really good and simple execution of a very very good design that's probably been around forever and just never took off but hopefully by pointing at it today more people are interested in giving it a shot because the freedom to explore so many different sounds and not have to pay an arm and a leg up front for every single pair of headphones that I need or want is huge. And having the freedom to purchase different types of drivers for specific situations is great because sometimes I want something that's bass heavy so I can listen to some funk or I something's more twangy. Maybe I need something that does a really nice higher end audio profile and kind of mutes out some of the bass. Some bluegrass can be that way unless it has a bass. Like, these are the AZ09s. These are what I'm using. 
The only problem I have with these is if you hook it up to a computer and try to do something like Discord in a game and a YouTube video, it can't handle it all. Anyways, I just really don't like the dedicated Bluetooth headphones anymore. I don't like the little ones that come in the little container that you pull out, you put in, it's all in one unit. I really like this. I like having the freedom to be like, ah, I don't really like these ones today. I don't want semi-open backs. I want planar magnetics. And I want to go enjoy it. Dream Theater with, you know, planar magnetics. Or maybe I want something that's very, very bass heavy and it's bump heavy. And it's just like I use a an earplug type pip or something like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to be rocking these for now on. Uh, this has been great. Like these are phenomenal headphones. And when it comes to like just sitting down and listening to music, these have been some of the best headphones I've ever used in my entire life. And I'm so happy that I own these. But these have taken quite a bit of a beating at this point. They've fallen off my desk. They got caught up in my chair. I brought them to land. They fell in concrete. And they have a buzz and the left kind of sometimes pops in and out. It sucks. So I was time for me to move on. And I think this was a pretty awesome upgrade so let me know what you guys think will you guys try out something like an iem kz product was this video is this the first time you've ever seen something like this let me know because i genuinely have never seen anything quite like these and i think they're absolutely baller